guide to smart money, and uh, this is a really interesting topic and one that's really important. So you might be wondering, why is a 12-year-old teaching us about this? My name is Adora Spitoff, and at the age of seven, I published my first book called Flying Fingers, Master of the Tools of Learning Through the Joy of Writing, and more recently, I published a second book called Dancing Fingers, which is a book of poetry that I co-authored with my older sister, Adriana. So I really love to read, write, and another one of the things that I like to do is save money. And money is something that is really important uh, to all of you, I'm assuming. So raise your hand if, if, if you think money is important. I see everyone's hand is raised. That's good because it is extremely important to how we live. So let's start with what is money exactly? Well, I looked up money in the dictionary, and here are the results I got. Money, a form of coin or paper money, wages or salary, the official currency of a country, coins or bills used to pay for goods or services. So wages or salary, how would you get wages or salary? Would anyone like to raise their hand? So currency 
uh, or money comes in many different shapes and forms. Now here's kind of a basic way money goes through uh, the economy. So it starts out maybe with a service or a job. So if you say uh, mow someone's lawn, and you will get wages or salary, you'll get money for doing that. And then you might either decide to save it, and you might save it for something big like college or maybe a house someday, or you might spend it, and you might spend it on uh, getting someone to mow your lawn, so another service or job, or you might spend it on a good, like a chocolate bunny. So, uh, another, and another one that's not on here is investing. And investing money means you take the money, you um, kind of buy things called stocks in the stock market, and then you hopefully get some money back, so that's investing. Um, but the basic things to do are saving and spending. How do we get money? Well, usually people get money for producing goods or providing services. So would anyone like to tell me what is a good?
So we have two different points of view. On one end, money kind of is power because you can buy lots of stuff with it. You can buy houses, you can buy um, goods and services. But on the other hand, money isn't power because you can't buy the things that are most important, like family and friends. Uh, so yeah, two very good points of view. Great. So money can do a lot of things, but it can't do everything. I think that's good to keep in mind. Now, it's important to learn how to make money, like getting an allowance or getting a job, but it's equally important to learn how to save it. What are some things you do to save money? Instead of having to buy a new um, 
pencil pack or something every single time. If you have one that still works really well, then you can use that. Uh, and if you have older brothers or sisters, you can use some of the binders or uh, hand-me-downs that they have if they work well and if they're not torn or something. Um, and actually, as a matter of fact, I use this binder. My older sister has a binder. She didn't want it anymore, so she gave it to me. And it, it still is a great binder. It works really well. Um, and the one problem is it has her name all over it. She wrote Adriana, Adriana, Adriana. And the cool thing about that, if your older brother or sister writes her name all over uh, the writer, whatever they gave to you, you can write is stupid after that. Thirty dollars. 
hard um, because you could live without shoes. Um, it might be a little more difficult walking around, but um, I guess you could put like fancy shoes. It would be a want. Yeah, uh, like high heels. High heels would be a want because you will not die if you don't have high heels. So those would definitely be a want. And and uh, shoes that, that you just wear because they look fancy or they look cool, definitely want. So needs versus want. If you are at the grocery store and you only have a certain amount of money to spend, would you, um, and you're, and, and you um, can choose between needs versus wants, which one would you get?
basically where we have this trip around the city and we have to figure out how to spend our money. So let me get that up and running. So it's a game that we can play together. There we go. All right, so let's see. If, let's say we're saving up to buy one of these things. Either a video game console, a pair of shoes, a movie, or a concert ticket. Now, before we do that, uh, tell me, are these things needs or wants?
Unexpected spending. Uh, you donated to a dog rescue organization. Okay, so donating is another uh, good thing to do with extra money. Okay. So, at the thrift store, um, we have two options. A cheap, ugly shirt that's perfect for the 80s dance, but you'll never wear it again. $5. Or a cool 80s shirt that you can actually see yourself wearing in school. $15. Which one do you think would be the better option? Raise your hand. Um, okay, if we, so it says that's a smart buy, and one of the reasons is uh, try to buy clothes that you will be wearing again. So I was at the clothing store the other day, and when you buy clothes, look at it and say, will I be able to wear this again? Will I be able to wear this a couple of times at least? So be sure to buy clothes that, that will do that. Okay, so um, I think we've played enough. Remember to uh, put your needs above your wants and try to spend money wisely. So, do any of you have questions for me? Raise your hand. Yondra? Um, when was the last time you were in? You didn't talk to her, not us. What happens to your money in a bank account if the bank uh, gets robbed? Was that what you said? Rob or burn. Rob or burn. That's a very good question. Well, at banks, and, and yes, they do sometimes get robbed, uh, but, um, at, and, and if a bank closes down, for instance, then uh, there's an organization, the FDIC, um, Federal, I'm not actually entirely sure that stands for, but anyway, they will insure your money up to, I think, $100,000 for individuals, which means that if you lose your money somehow uh, from a bank, then they will pay that. Um, money back to you. So that's, if you walk into a bank and you see a little sticker and it says insured by FDIC, then that means uh, that, that your money is pretty safe, I guess. Um, but if, um, uh, another thing is that your money, the way banks store it, it isn't necessarily, they take your money, they put it in a shelf and it just stays there. A lot of times banks will um, take that money, give some to somebody else, uh, it's, it's called, when banks loan money to somebody, then they uh, get interest on that or whatever. So your money is kind of fluid in a bank. It, it moves around, and it is usually um, insured, which means if something bad happens to the bank, then, then you'll be able to get that back. Isaiah? Well, I learned that somebody takes the money out of the bank. I'm sorry? Why was this somebody who takes the money out of the bank that you don't, that you don't know who did that? Uh, hold on, I have to, you can't, someone, I can't go into the bank and say, I want Mr. Salazar's money, give it to me, or have his account number. They make sure it's the right person. So, someone can't just go into your bank and take your money out. Yeah, it's, on your that would be very, very hard, if not impossible to do. I, I can't walk into the bank and say, oh, may I have so-and-so's money. Yeah, you, you can't do that. Um, they, they do make sure that it's you. And they have lots of security because it is money. And, and um, for instance, if you lose uh, a checkbook or a credit card or something like that, you're supposed to call into a number. Or they have lots of safeguards. So, yeah, there, there are definitely things that would stop that. Morgan? Um, well, I think last month my mom got robbed.
if it would be what you do, um, let's say you have a credit card. Um, somebody takes that credit card, they steal. Then you call a number, you let um, you, you tell them my credit card's been stolen, and they will freeze the credit card. That means that you can't take any money, you can't spend with it. So that's what you do if your credit card is stolen, and then they send you a replacement. And, and it's a little complicated, but, but it's, it's pretty easy. If somebody steals a credit card, you call that number, you tell them freeze the credit card, and nobody can spend money on it. Adora, I have a question for you. I'm Mrs. Huffman, one of the teachers. Mm -hmm. Could you tell us about how much money you've saved? Like, what's the largest amount of money that you've saved? So the kids have an idea what they can do. The largest amount of money I've saved. You know, um, my parents actually, uh, when we were little, they wouldn't give us allowance, like $50 every week or something like that. They would actually, um, at the end of every few months, they might put a, a big amount, like, say, $50 into our bank account. And so that was... Um, pretty cool, and um, and so saving, and I and I usually don't really take any money out of my bank account. So at one point, I actually managed to save um, around, like I think when I was seven, I had actually saved around maybe six. I had saved around three hundred dollars, which was pretty cool having that much money. Um, and the important thing is to realize when you put it in your bank account. Try not to spend it. Try not to take it out. Just um, keep it in there and um, keep on putting money into it. And when you have a job, say, uh, mowing the lawn, um, and you get $10 back, then put maybe $5, $6 of that in your bank account or in your piggy bank and save it. I would say that's a good thing. So this is your job, right? You get paid to do this? Yes. We pay someone to do this service, so you're being a part of that, right? Yes. So this is what's called a service. Um, when I video conference with you guys, that's a service. Um, I'm, I'm doing this uh, job, and it's not it's not full time. It's not that I do this every hour. It's actually maybe once a day uh, or or once every few days um, that I do video conferencing. But um, and I also am still a student, and I am still doing learning as well. So um, yeah, this this is a service. Um, is Cindy, you had a question? He's not shooting my eyes. Okay, but that's not for Adora, is it? Okay, any more questions? Isaac. Um, what if you want something so bad and you have a lot of money for it and there's a charity right next to it? Should you give it to the charity and buy this you want so bad? Well, if you want something really badly, um, I would say try to wait until it gets a little cheaper. If it's if it's just come out and it's really expensive, wait a little bit. Um, and if it's like the last day it's going to be on sale or something, then and it's something you really want. Try to think: is this something I'm going to be using a lot, or is it something that I'll just play with once and then not like anymore? And ask your parents what they think if if it's worth the money. Um, and try to think: yeah, how much value is it really? Will I be using it again? Um, and, and so, if it's something you'll be using again and again, that's really valuable, that, that will help you a lot, then, then maybe you would think about getting it. But otherwise, I would, I would get it. Where am I? I am in Redmond, Washington State, and I am actually in the basement of my house right now, so as you can see. Um, so um, yeah, so I'm in the studio, and... and uh, Actually, if you if I swivel around a little bit, there's a refrigerator and there's the kitchen over there. So kind of uh, that's as far as the camera will go. But um, just to give you a little view. So Redmond is near Seattle. Um, where are you guys, by the way? Uh, close yeah. to we're in Lamore, California, which is approximately 30 miles south of Fresno. Oh, okay. Cool. We're in the middle of the state. Great. Um, I was actually in um, San Francisco and uh, Northern California, well, let's see, last year? Yes, last year. It's so hard to think of it as, as last year because it seems like this year, but uh, yeah, so uh, very nice. We live in an agricultural community. We grow a lot of cotton, uh, almonds, and raisins, <laughs> a lot of fresh fruit. When you go to the store, you buy fresh fruit, and it says California, most of it's coming from the area we live in. Wow! I love so. Sunday raisins, there's only one plant in the world, and it's about 25 miles from here. Yeah, 25 miles from here. Matthew. Wow. Do you eat Sunday yeah. raisins or eat raisins from our area? That is a good question. Um, what are some good choices if you have, like, like as much as $100? What are some good choices? If you have as much as $100, 
say save it because a hundred dollars can go a long way. If you have a hundred dollars this year and you get a hundred dollars next year, it's two hundred dollars, and and um, and that's a lot of money. And especially if you if you want to go to college and saving that money because college can be kind of expensive. Um, and so having some money saved up for that is really important.